if you have ever had a dream of opening any kind of a restaurant or food business this one question would have uh, would have irritated you and uh, it is would have been one of the biggest problems of we, we, the question is which type of food business to open this is one of the biggest obstacles while opening a food business there are so many different different types of food businesses in the marketplace that it becomes more than impossible to select which would be the most profitable most risk friendly and at the same time most scalable food business on planet earth hi my name is gopal kamath and i am a hotelier restauranter and founder of get your restaurant where we teach you how to start your own food business and if you see this video till the end today i am going to discover and open up all the different types of food businesses which you can do on planet earth so let's start with the uh, burning question of the day the first one the the problem which we are going to answer today is how to choose the right food concept so now i have categorized the food concepts in very very simple terms so that any person can understand the first and most easiest to open as well as the most available in the marketplace are physical restaurants any type of physical restaurant if you see it might be a small dhaba a small ready a small tapri a, a chinese counter a non ac restaurant an ac restaurant an ac restaurant with a bar and ac restaurant with a bar and banquet uh, only bar or any kind of food business where a canteen a uh, dabba service or any kind of food business where you physically the customer comes in starts eating and uh, he pays and he goes that is all come under physical restaurants so this is one of the biggest i think this covers around 75 to 80% of the whole food business uh, quantity of the whole uh, india now moving to the second one the second one is delivery kitchen or cloud kitchen after the corona and before the corona also uh, after the uh, zomato and the swiggies of the world came in india and they started delivering the delivery kitchen or cloud kitchen has picked up like anything because it is very easy for people to order their food on, from their phones on their phones as well as on their apps and uh, to get it back to their house without even moving a finger of course he has to move a finger a little bit but uh, that is the magic of technology that is the magic of techno te technology brings accuracy and accountability you can literally know where your delivery boy is through gps and he will come and he will order it uh, he will place he will give the order to you so delivery kitchen and cloud kitchen is more of a convenience food business where the customers main pain point of not having time or not having the energy to come and eat in the restaurant is solved by this delivery or cloud kitchens where they are sending it to you and you can uh, eat it at your house uh, this is an alternate way of uh, uh, it is a food business but it is the delivery is totally inverse uh, inverse than the physical restaurants now we will move towards the third which is the home chef delivery kitchens now cloud ki there is difference between a cloud kitchen and a home chef delivery kitchen is that home chef delivery kitchen is basically based in your house and the food which is served is pure authentic food by a uh, home chefs or the uh, woman of the house or the man of the house would like to cook home made authentic food uh, whereas in the cloud kitchens or the virtual kitchens the food made is more or less the same as the restaurants so the, uh, the home chef delivery kitchens are also very very important and you can cook a hell lot of items in the home kitchen you can cook authentic food pickles papads uh, achars murabbas laddus or desserts or anything for that matter you can only focus on one item or you can focus on multiple items depending on your energy level and your interest now the fourth is home bakeries now of course the normal bakeries will come under the first section which is the physical restaurants whereas the home bakeries are basically bakeries where cake is made from house and it is delivered to the other house for a birthday or a party or something so this is also picking up the fifth are outdoor catering if you want to 
start, uh, if you want to do a food business but you don't want to get stuck in one place you just want to cook food and serve then the outdoor caterers is the one of the best businesses it is scalable because once you start getting orders uh, you can get mega mega multiple orders and everything is outsourced right from your uh, cooks to your staff to everything your utensils everything is outsourced when the uh, order is taken everything is bought together the function is done and everything is then uh, given back this is one of the best models if you really want to scale and you don't get, want to get stuck in one particular business yeah the sixth type of food business is food trading a lot of people don't cook the food but they pick up the food from the manufacturer and they give it to the distributor they keep a margin of 10 to 15 percent this is actually maximum uh, uh, number of people who traders are doing it let's say for example you are a wholesaler of papads and you are picking up papads somewhere from for example gujarat you're picking up legit papads from gujarat in tons and you are distributing it in different different areas so after keeping a margin of 15 to 20 percent so that itself can be a business you can earn from the food business without getting invested in the manufacturing now we have the logistics company the zomatos of the world the swiggies of the world the thrive or there are dunzo so many companies which are focusing on delivering rather than focusing on manufacturing and there is a lot of money in delivering actually uh, zomato swiggy they usually charge 25 to 30 percent of the food value so let's say your your order is thousand rupees they will take 250 rupees which is a big chunk and uh, they are paying the delivery partner just 50 rupees whereas they are, they are charging the remaining for themselves for the software and all the things which they are managing so you can also think about creating a delivery logistic company and uh, being involved in the food industry but at the same time not involving yourself in manufacturing so these are the seven different types of ways where you can start in the food business and earn profits if you have liked this uh, video please share it with your friends and your colleagues or whoever is interested in starting a food business if you have not yet subscribed to my channel uh, my channel name is get your restaurant uh, you join my subscribe to my channel join my facebook page as well as insta all the links are given in the description section and if you are really interested in starting a food business i would highly recommend you to take a look at my coaching program the coaching program is called as rlf coaching program restaurant launch formula coaching program go to this link www.gopalkamad.in and check out my coaching program if it suits you join apart in this coaching program i have a step by step way where you can go step by step practical way because i am running my own restaurants so step by step practical way in which you can follow and you can start any kind of food business plus each week on tuesday at six o'clock i come live on a zoom call with my members and i answer all their questions face to face so if you really are serious about starting a food business you have to first learn from somebody who has already done it and then you can go ahead and start your own food business so it will be my pleasure to welcome you to my coaching program once you join it do check it out www.gopalkamad.in and uh, do subscribe to this channel or uh, uh, follow this page wherever you are seeing this share it with your friends and your followers and please like this video thank you so much i will meet you in the next video all the best